Ah, it's amazing how when you walk through a community, how many times you hear the door lock as soon as you walk by a car. Amazing. Greetings from Virginia, guys. JC Max here. Today I wanted to talk about a topic that has sort of been bothering me. Currently, there's this ongoing trend called Karening, where there's a particular woman of a certain age who would either act out in public or seem to intimidate others. So, when this woman is caught on camera doing whatever she does, usually the public perceives this woman as Caucasian or white, they will tend to call this woman a Karen. And today, this is a call for action. A call for action in the sense of saying why. Why? Why are we doing this, guys? Why? No one knows when this term started. But for whatever reason, people these days are using this term Karen as a way to put people down. And once again, it seemed that it would be those of the Caucasian race. So they would say, like, if, if one is caught arguing with a store clerk for whatever reason, they will say, oh, here, here's Karen acting out again. And I don't think that's right. How would you feel if you were doing something and someone may have perceived it a certain way and called you a name? Would you like that? And so this word Karen brings many similarities to what African-Americans or those who call themselves black or even people of color have had to deal with for a very long time. They weren't called the word Karen. They were told another word. And yes, my friends, that word is the N-word. Yes, the nasty N-word, a derogatory word that was used way back in the day to put black people down. And so people are now essentially doing the same thing, but towards white people, white women. And how is that fair? And hold on, before you go on and call me a, the, the bad way of what an Uncle Tom is, don't even start that. This is not what it says. This is about equality and fairness. You wouldn't want someone calling you a name regardless of what race you are. So to me, this word Karen is a very racial word. I'm not gonna sit there and call you a racist, but it could be deemed as such if you're using it in a derogatory terms towards someone who is white or Caucasian and using it against them to put them down just because of their race and because they're maybe asking for a manager or whatever the reasons are people that are, that are saying, oh, this person is a Karen. It's not right. So this call for action is to tell people of all races, colors, genders, nationalities, misogynist, sexist, racist, whatever, just stop. Stop the Karening. Stop calling people Karen is what I'm referring to because it's not right. A little background, a little history on the N-word in my life. So then you would say, well, what about the N-word? Aren't you black? Can't you say it? Ha <laughs> ha. That right there, that's a tough subject for many people, but not for me. It's an easy subject for me. Me, I'm trying to put away all vile words. Slander, malice, I want to put those things away in my life. Why would I want to use such a word that was used to put people down for centuries and then switch it around, put an A at the end, and call it positive? Yes, words are based off of context. Yes, but still, now you're saying it's good because you put an A at the end, but now you're saying one race can say it and one race can't. Now how fair is that? That seems kind of childish, if you ask me. Are we all not wanting to be mature? Are we all wanting to move on from the past and not create separatist movements and, well, you can do this, but I can't do that, I can do this, but you can't do that? So then what point is it for me to say the N-word, regardless if it's the E-R or with the A at the end, and then you can't and then get mad at you because you say it? No, it's not right. If any word is off limits, obviously in regards to context or whatever constructs we make throughout our lives on this earth, for any race, then it should be off limits to all. So you may ask, am I still going to say it because I'm black and that I can say it? No. For the last, how, how long? It's been 
I think I haven't said that word in almost 15 years. Do some of my friends still say it? Yes. Did we all grow up in such a way to where it was in our daily conversations? Yes, I did. I grew up in the hoods of Central Florida and it was a word that we used every single day. Not in a racist way, just as a term of endearment to our fellow brethren, brothers in the struggle. So I used it, never thought anything bad of it, but then I could also flip it and use it against someone if I felt like it. Did I do that? No. But I'm saying I don't want to use it at all. So I have, I have taken that word out of my lexicon. It is not in my conversation. And if I have kids, or when I have kids, I will tell them not to use it as well. Don't hit me. So what I want to do is I just want to have a call for action for those who are thinking, who are those who want to do better in their lives, to you know stop these derogatory terms. I don't care how a certain woman is acting up in the grocery store, if she's asking for their manager, if she's calling HR on you for whatever reasons, she may be in the wrong, you're right, but there is no reason to call her a name. We have to get past that. Don't start it. All right, guys, I see these videos on a daily basis in regards to women doing things against people of color or whatever else the reason is that they're being called a Karen. And I just don't agree with it. Hola, senor. How you said, buenos tardes. Gracias, gracias. Ciao, buddy. How you doing? How you doing, buddy? What you doing? Working, working. Oh, nice. I like that. <laughs> it's cool. All right. So, I just want it all to stop, okay? I know I have a platform. I vlog. I go around the world. I show different cultures, different aspects of life, wherever I'm at. I don't usually vlog in the United States, but this seems to be a U.S. thing that's going on. And I think other English-speaking countries calling people Karens, Beckys, things like that. If you don't want someone calling you the N-word, then you shouldn't be calling them a Karen. Regardless, okay? And at the same time, it shouldn't be an eye for eye type of thing. Just don't do it. Love. Love is more important. If this person, regardless, white, whatever, whatever type of Karen she may be, if she's doing something, show her love, whatever. Do, try to do something in order to make the situation better. And if you're videotaping it, why videotape you calling this person a Karen? How about you videotape yourself showing love, compassion, doing something to make the situation better? There's always room for love, regardless of the situation. Okay, it's hard. I know that there's been slapping in, in um, gas stations and there's been um, people, well, white people calling people in words, things like that. I know it happens. I know it happens. I've seen it. I've been victim of racial bias before in my life as well. But I'm at a stage in my life to where I'd rather show love than to repay that person with wrong. Okay? Am I a saint? No. You know it. I know it. No one's a saint. No one is righteous. No, not one. All right? For all have sinned, and I am one of them. I'm a sinner. You're a sinner as well. But with the grace of God, you can move past that sin and show love, okay? It's all up to you. It's very important to, to get to that stage if you want to live a great life on this earth. Will it always be great? No, you'll have bad times, but then you'll at least know that you tried your best in this world. So that's my call to action, guys. I definitely want to see change in this world. Buenos tardes. How you doing? De nada. How you doing, abuela? Hey, don't put start this. All right, so I'm taking a lovely stroll around the neighborhood. Um, it's a wonderful Sunday at this time. I don't know when I'm going to get this video up, but I want you guys to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. You know, I'm not here for a race conversation. This isn't about black people this, white people that. This is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about doing good to your fellow man. I'm talking about showing love even in spite of the interaction between whatever this person may be doing to you or to other people. So let's change. I, if I could, would like to start a Karen boycott. Not to cancel whoever is acting like, as you would say, a Karen, but for people just to stop calling people Karen and show some love. You feel me? Ooh, that's a nice tree right there. It looks like a bonsai plant, but it's not. Very nice. Very nice.
Well, so let me know, guys. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if it can be done, if it can be achieved, if we can stop using these words to put other people down. How about we find ways to lift people up? Call them angels, something. Let them know that they are blessed regardless. You feel me? All right, guys. Have a blessed day. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. And no message could have been any clearer. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and then make a change, yeah. Na 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 Virginia is for lovers. <laughs>